everyone, here we go. Our main event of the evening. Gino versus Brian Keith. The winner of this match will face Will all day at Swing Boat for the Reality of Wrestling Texas Championship. Do not let his demeanor or his attitude fool you. Gino Medina, one of the very best this company has ever seen. Maybe the best. If you did a Mount Rushmore reality of wrestling, he would be on the George Washington face without a doubt. The thing that's scary, ladies and gentlemen, is he's only getting better. The former three-time reality of wrestling champion, Cheat is here. Ruthless Ryan Davidson and our very first drive in special. Now, Brian Keith is trying to battle back and he finds himself in a position to get an opportunity at that Texas Championship this evening. One of the longest reigning champions in row history now has to face one of the most decorated. It's Brian Keith, it's Gino, it's our main event, it's Reality of Rest. to wonder about Brian Keith's mental space. He lost the thing that he had worked for the better part of a decade for, to Ryan Davis. Now, he finds himself back with the opportunity to get a championship opportunity, but not for the Reality Wrestling Championship, for the Texas Championship. What is his motivation tonight? Can he put behind him those, those demons of those losses in the past? Focus on Gina, get the job done, and find himself a triple crown champion. It is very possible. The path is right in front of him, but he's got to go through one of the very best that we've ever seen. It's Gino, it's Brian, and it's now. And there's the bell. Ladies and gentlemen, again, we want to thank the 385,000 subscribers to the Reality Wrestling channel. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, share, do all the things you're supposed to do so the world can know why we are the front row of sports and entertainment and the flagship of Texas wrestling. Or Gino always popular with the Reality Wrestling Nation. And he's not even going to wrestle unless they shut up. Fat chance of that happening. And look at the scowl of the face on the face of Brian Keith. Extra motivated. We hope. Sometimes you have to wonder, when you lose that championship, does the championship level confidence that you gain, do you lose that as well? Do you start to doubt yourself? Do you start to wonder, do I, am I? Really the guy. Do I have what it takes to get the job done? Quick cover one. All those thoughts are racing through the mind of Brian Keith right now. He's trying to figure out. Cover there. He's trying to figure out. Am I the man? And there's no better litmus test. There's no better measuring stick than Gino Medina. The untouchable one. Side headlock here by Gino. Brian Keith trying to fight out of it. Gino just hooking him around the ears, which really messes with the equilibrium of an athlete. But now Brian Keith returning the favor. Oh! Elbow to that left shoulder of Gino. Now has him in a wrist lock tied behind his back. Like he's roping cattle is the cowboy. Beautiful reversal there from Gino. 
Oh, look at that. Wow. Wow. Does this man belong in a pro wrestling ring or what? And look, by nefarious means, getting an extra advantage on this side headlock. But to no avail, referee spotted him. Against, oh, I thought he was going to bounce him against the ropes for an Irish whip. And now, Brian Key said, you want a mat wrestle? You want a chain wrestle? Let's do it, man. prowess and wrestling maneuverability between these two gentlemen. Ryan Keith always looking to utilize those fast kicks. Catch it quick. Oh, as is Gino. A lot of in a lot of ways these two styles really mirror one another. Big drop kick cover one, two and a kick out. Both of them use high flying offense. Both of them, oh, in tip-top shape. Both of them have the experience, the veteran experience and instincts. Looking for that scarlet letter. Mm. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful right there from Brian Keith. Brian Keith shaking his head. Almost happy and pleased with his actions thus far. As a former reality wrestling champion. As Gino. Oh, man. Right on that knee. The thigh of Brian Keith being driven into the kneecap of Gino. And Gino really feeling the effects of that one, rolling to the outside, trying to sweep the legs of Brian Keith. Brian Keith seesaw into the outside, and oh, that lower back and spine landing on the apron. And what is he going to do? Sends him right into the steps. Sends him right into the steps, just Gino. Brian Keith laying on the outside in pain. You know he's still not 100% after he had that he suffered in the match with Ryan Davidson. And Gino looking on as Brian Keith grasping at his fingertips, almost trying to grab something like he like he maybe has lost feeling. Oh, and referee's about to call it off. Referee's about to throw up the X. But Brian Keith begging and pleading with him. Wow, you might have seen a referee stoppage. As Booker T says, the referees need to have the understanding, knowledge, and know-how to get in there and just stop it. And I'm not so certain that that would have been a great move for Gina. Excuse me, for Brian Keith moving forward. Sometimes you got to live to fight another day. And Gino driving those elbows in the rib cage of Brian Keith. Mm. Look at that Gino driving his knuckles into the ribs of Brian Keith. We know that they were fractured at that oh drive-in event against Ryan Davidson. Mm. using those legs to squeeze on the rib cage of Brian Keith, where if those ribs weren't fully healed up, he is in 100% complete pain, just covering up from those shots from Gino. Oh, man. Gino catches him right behind the ear. One, two. Referee should have had a better look at that one. I think Gino got away with an illegal punch right there. Nevertheless, owning this contest thus far, Every opportunity he gets, look at that, pulling on the ear, putting his knuckles into the rib cage, whatever he has to do. Brian Keith. 
slowly but surely fighting out of this one. Remember, the winner of this contest will meet Will all day at our next drive-in special swing boat for the vacant Reality Wrestling, Te uh, Reality Wrestling Texas Championship. Remember, the current holder, Max Umberto, unable to defend that championship due to the pandemic. So he has been stripped. The title is being held up. And it's either going to be it's going to be Will All Day versus either Brian Keith or Gino at Swing Vote to declare that champion. Oh, look at that pump handle, pump handle! Oh, a pump handle gut wrench right there. Cover one, two, and a kick out. Again, going back to an earlier spot in this match when it looked like Brian Keith was on the outside in pain after Gino sent him into those steel steps. We saw the referee really considering stopping this contest. And now looking back at it, I think that would have been the right decision to make. Brian Keith is a, is a tough man. We all know this. We all know what he can do inside that squared circle. He's been a champion. Now once but twice. He's been the reality wrestling champion and the reality wrestling television champion but he has to live to fight another day. And the beating that he is taking from Gino might put him on the shelf to where even if he wins this match, who knows if he'll be 100% or even be medically clear to face Will all day for that Texas championship. And a side effect though, out of desperation from Brian Keith, a side effect to the apron. That could be his opening. But at what cost? <laughs> Ryan Keith slowly getting back in, beating the referee's count, and another one. A book in more that that time. One, two. Oh my goodness. Red Shoes was there. And Gino getting the shoulder up. Oh my gosh. Gino just throwing Brian Keith on that top rope, and the inertia made him flip and land right on the back. Those ribs, the kidneys, the spine, everything is hurting right now on Brian Keith, and Gino smells it. Gino smells victory, but a super kick, a super kick, the fastest kicks in the South. They call him that furries. And now both men laid out. If Brian Keith were able to crawl over to Gino, he might have gotten a three count. Referee up to a count of six. Brian Keith to a vertical base. <laughs> and El Intocable, the untouchable Gino with an elevated knee into the ribs. Oh, and one into the face. Cover. One, two. Oh my lord, at the last second, at the very last possible heartbeat moment, Brian Keith finds a way to get the shoulder up. Running on adrenaline. Swing and a miss. Oh, and both men have the same idea, collide. 
And that's those those ribs, the spinal column, the rib cage, everything shaken up after that. And we know it hurt Gino, but you have to imagine it hurt Brian Keith even more. Kind of nine. These two men starting to battle though. Referee calling off the count and slaps across the face. That might have fired up Brian Keith more than it hurt him. Might have woke him back up into this match. You see him asking for it. Oh man, you saw the sweat fly off the chest of Gino with that one. Oh my goodness. Opportunity at the Reality Wrestling Texas Championship is on the line. Both these men wanting it bad. Beautiful back suplex cover. One, two, and a kick out by Gino. And you have to think with every move, with every bit of offense, it has to hurt Ryan Keith almost as much as it's hurting Gino. And he's calling for it. He's calling for it, the move that has won him, the Reality of Wrestling Championship, Rodeo DDT, Gino. Counter reversal, one, two, Brian Keith almost had him. Oh! Another elevated knee to that rib cage, slowing the inertia and momentum of Brian Keith all the way to a screeching halt. Cover, one, two, and a kick out again by Brian Keith. The heart and will of the Cowboy is just too great. Oh, question mark kick there. And another cover. One, two, three. That question mark kick was enough to rattle the bell of the already injured Brian Keith. And Gino will face Will All Day at Swing Boat for that Reality of Wrestling Texas Championship. Tocable, El Campeón. Will he have that nickname once again? We will find out. Gino Medina, victorious in our main event. We want to thank everybody for watching this week on the Reality of Wrestling. For our executive producers, Booker T and Charmel Huffman. For our director, Kevin Bernhardt. My name is Brad Gilmore, and we will be back next week with the front row of sports and entertainment, the Reality of Wrestling.